Welcome to Newswatch 12 Weekends, I'm Kyle Pesorski. We start tonight in Eagle River where the Area Figure Skating Club held their USA competition at the historic Ice Dome. Club members and organizers were excited to have a competition in Eagle River on their home ice, which they haven't done in more than a decade. Everyone who's come in through the dome doors has entered with excitement and enthusiasm. They're really excited that we're offering this competition. Um, so there's been just a lot of just buzzing through the air. This is the first time Eagle River has hosted a figure skating competition in quite some time. The club hopes the Silver Blades Classic will become an annual event in the years to come. Tomorrow night, we'll hear from some of the skaters about how they prepare for the competition. That'll be right here on Newswatch 12 Weekend Sunday. Concertina enthusiasts from all over Wisconsin made their way to Merrill to have a good time on Saturday. The Central Wisconsin Concertina Festival took place at Lincoln Lanes, where those in attendance met old and new friends. Newswatch Hall's Muhammad Abdul Kawi has the story. The 41st annual Concertina Festival in Merrill, where people had the opportunity to play, trade, or sell concertinas. This event is to carry through from the time that I started the club in, in 1971. Dan Grusmacher is the originator of the Central Wisconsin Concertina Club. He is amazed about how many different artists wanted to perform in front of the audience. And that's what makes it interesting. We, we don't all play the same thing. And uh, it just depends on what they were trained on. Ronald Leck is a member of the club. He says that anybody can play the concertina. First come, first serve, kind of. Uh, most of the people that, uh, that play in our event have been playing for 10, 20 years. Ronald says that it's all about the patience. Even though the concertina is a hard instrument to play, for them, it's still really enjoyable. The fun of a concertina player is that uh, you never really mastered a concertina. It's, it's kind of a, a difficult instrument to play. And for people like Dan and Ronald, events like these help them reconnect with old friends because most of the people there were once players themselves. But I think it keeps us young. It at least keeps us active. I gain a lot of friends today. That's just the way it is. You get here and, and there's people that we haven't seen for years, and they all turn up today. Reporting in Merrill, Muhammad Abdul Kawi, Newswatch 12. The Mercer Public Library held their annual Earth Day Fair on Saturday, hoping to get people in the Northwoods thinking about sustainable living. Library Director Teresa Schmidt says Saturday's event was successful in bringing like-minded businesses and groups together to educate the Mercer community. We have about 15 different groups that are um, ha that have exhibit tables set up to share information about what their groups do, um, and they range everything from local ski trails to um, businesses that have a sustainable focus. Schmidt continues saying that even though Saturday's fair wasn't on Earth Day, she says every day should be treated as such. And there are a lot of groups in the Northwoods that are already doing that. So this is really about telling people what's already happening in their community and how they might be able to get involved. Groups such as the Northwoods Wildlife Club, the North Lakeland Discovery Center, Mecca Trails, and others all showed up providing information about their groups to everyone in attendance. In Wausau today, many people took advantage of the mild spring weather participating in the never forgotten Honor Flight 5K run walk at Bull Falls Brewery. With veterans being an important part of our society, the Never Forgotten Honor Flight Organization works tirelessly to fly World War II Korean and Vietnam veterans to Washington, D.C. to view their memorials at no cost, which each trip needing $500 per person sponsored. Megan Wierzynski says Saturday's turnout was amazing to see. This is a very highly participated event, but also has a lot of walkers. We have people with strollers, people with dogs, and people that uh, are old and maybe can't run the course, but they want to support the event. They say a group of over 1,000 people participate in the race, which stretch across the city. Rosinski says this goes a long way in helping the Honor Flight's goals. To know that we've given back so much from a race that maybe historically has been anywhere from 25 to 40 dollars to enter we're still able to give so much back to the honor flight it's really incredible over the years more than 12,000 people have participated in the 5k and have raised over 120 thousand dollars for the honor flight a portion of the proceeds from this event will be donated to the never forgotten honor flight Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller joins us now for a first glance at the forecast. Jeff, what are we looking at out there? Hey Kyle, well here we go, starting off with the radar right now for good reason because there are showers and some non-severe thunderstorms out there right now. Two lines of them, the first line coming through now, 
the other one right behind it, probably about two hours behind it. Let's dive in here. The heaviest rainfall currently, Vilas County, Norneida County, Lincoln County, Marathon County, and Portage County. Uh, a couple of showers and storms in here. Non-severe, though, and they will continue over a couple more hours tonight into tomorrow morning. All part of a much bigger system across the plains. Another blizzard across the Dakotas tonight. Uh, we'll get a cold front that's swing through here tonight into tomorrow morning, and that's going to turn off the faucet but really turn down our temperatures tomorrow. 70s and 80s across central Wisconsin today, uh, 30s across the plains. We'll have high temperatures Tuesday in the 30s, but today, look what we did. High is near 80 in Wapaka, 69 for Anigo, 65 here in Rhinelander. We will not be doing this again tomorrow as a cold front is on the way. Our forecast then tonight, though, is showers and a couple of thunderstorms out there, non-severe, with low temperatures down near 54. Your full forecast is coming up. Kyle? Today, the Brewers took on the Philadelphia Phillies in Philadelphia. Going into the game, Brewers sat at an 8-6 and six record, while the Phillies were at 6 wins, 8 losses. In the first three innings, the Phillies got off to a good start, scoring three unanswered runs. It would take until the fifth inning for the Brewers to get on the board with a Jace Peterson single to center, scoring Hunter Renfro. In the top of the sixth, Hunter Renfro hit a solo home run to center, putting the Brewers up 5-3. That will be it for runs with the final score 5-3 Brewers. They play again tomorrow against the Phillies at 6 p.m. Last night, the Milwaukee Bucks played the Chicago Bulls in Game 3 of the NBA playoffs. The game took place in Chicago with both teams going to the game tied in the series. At the half, Milwaukee was up 60-41, keeping the lead all the way through the final score of 111-81. The teams will face off again Sunday at noon. You can catch that game on ABC. Coming up, new reporting has found in a decline in mental health of America's children. We'll hear from doctors who believe the problem is largely due to the past two years of the pandemic shutdowns. That story more after weather when we return. Here's why it's smart to custom order your Ford SUV. Because custom orders receive priority. You'll get an extra 1,000 order bonus plus incentive protection, guaranteeing you the best offer now or at delivery. And the features you choose. Want an EPA estimated 41 combined MPG in an Escape Hybrid? A 12-inch touchscreen in an Edge? You got it. In a Ford built your way. Order your 2022 Escape, Edge, or Explorer to lock in the special flex by offer and get 1,000 retail order bonus cash. In the military, we call it dereliction of duty. Ron Johnson is supposed to serve Wisconsin. Instead, he served himself. An investigation found Ron Johnson pushed through a special tax loophole that benefited his own family's business. Then he cashed out of the company for $5 million. Ron Johnson has doubled his wealth since taking office. That's a dereliction of duty. Tell Ron Johnson to stop passing tax laws that benefit himself. You'll always find something new to love at Schrader. From a redesigned gourmet kitchen and wine space, home decor, gifts for the little, and trendy clothing and shoes. Schrader's Gifts, family owned and operated. Shop now for the best spring gifts and clothing. Go with the flow at Dvorak Stocks. Flow from Dvorak Stocks is installed by trained in-house employees. That's right, no subcontractors needed, so your shoreline setup is guaranteed. Get flow from Dvorak Stocks by calling 275-DOC. Saturday, April 30th, the Wisconsin Department of Justice will be holding a free prescription drug take-back event. If you have unused or unwanted medications, ointments, patches, non-aerosol sprays, inhalers, vials, or pet medication, clean out your cabinets. Don't let your old medication fall into the wrong hands by disposing of unused or unwanted medications properly. For more information on locations and accepted items, go to doseofrealitywi.gov. This information is brought to you by the Human Service Center of Forest, Vilas, and Oneida County. Welcome back, my friends. It's Saturday night and it's raining outside. Two rounds of rain coming through tonight. The first round coming through right now. Nothing heavy or severe in here, but 
a couple hours of downpours tonight into parts of tomorrow morning, followed by much colder air on the way for us tomorrow into Monday. Here's the heaviest right now. Again, Vilas County, Oneida County, Lincoln County, uh, a couple heavier downpours in here, but lightning data is on and there's not much lightning in here at all currently. So these are diminishing in coverage and intensity tonight as they work their way through north central Wisconsin. The severe weather threat is low, but it's not zero. So keep an eye on this this evening, but that should stay across parts of western Wisconsin and mostly parts of Minnesota this evening as that's where the strongest uplifts in the atmosphere are. Uh, the most instability is over there. For us though, this is a big system across the Midwest. It stirred up the entire atmosphere. It's breathing very well at upper level atmosphere heights. And you can see here across the plains, another blizzard for the Dakotas. Uh, for us though, this one's rain and that rain is locally heavy this evening in their parts of tomorrow morning before a front comes through tomorrow. That front right there, that's going to swing through tomorrow morning, turn off the faucet it, uh, but also switch the wind out of the west and usher in some much colder temperatures. So here we go. Let's walk you through it tonight. Uh, we'll have a couple hours of decreasing clouds for a few hours tomorrow morning, but then the back side of the system gets through here, and this is that stratus clouds, kind of a couple of showers tomorrow, uh, 6 o'clock on Sunday or so. Uh, so it's going to be a not-so-nice day tomorrow with falling temperatures through the afternoon, and we could see wind gusts around 40 miles per hour uh, between 2 p.m. and, say, 6 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. So get ready for that. And that is going to usher in some much colder temperatures. Right now, temperatures are in the 70s across parts of central Wisconsin. Meanwhile, they're in the 30s across the plains. While the cold air typically wins, it's heavier, it's denser. That's moving our direction for tomorrow, but mostly on Monday into Tuesday. In fact, we're going to hold high temperatures Tuesday, likely in the low to mid 30s. I know, I know. There goes that front coming through tonight. Tomorrow, falling temperatures. And by Monday, here is Monday afternoon evening, right? Temperatures back in the low to mid 30s around here, reminding all of us exactly what time of year it is and where we live, right? All right, so after we did this today, we hit 80 in Wapaka, 69 for Anago, 65 here in Rhinelander, but it was much colder just to the north of our area, including in there with parts of Vilas County and across the UP border, where temperatures held in the 50s today with clouds and some fog over there too, off of our snowpack. Okay, so here we go. Uh, temperature trend, 62 tomorrow, briefly in the morning, but falling through the afternoon and then we hold high temperatures in the 40s Monday and 30s on Tuesday and a slow I mean like a really slow recovery Wednesday Thursday and Friday uh, back to reality around here midweek okay but then beyond that this is the forecast temperature wise for the first week of May keeps us well below average in temperatures across the Great Lakes Keep in mind the average high is 56 this time of year. Our forecast ends tonight, though, is cloudy and breezy. A couple of thunder showers out there, non-severe, with lows down near 54. Not so low lows, right? Tomorrow, 62, but falling through the afternoon. Windy, too, with wind gusts near 40 miles per hour. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress shows tomorrow's kind of a mess. Monday, we're just cold. Tuesday, we're colder. Our next chance for rain after tomorrow is not until Thursday. Kyle? At least four people were shot following a two overnight shootings near Indiana University in downtown Bloomington. These shootings happened within two blocks of each other and police have not determined if they are connected. The first incident took place just after 1 a.m. inside a nightclub. Police say multiple rounds were fired, leaving three men injured. They were taken into Indiana University Health Bloomington Hospital with conditions unknown at this time. A second shooting is believed to have occurred in an alleyway southeast of the nightclub. Officers locate a man shot in the abdomen in a passenger seat of a car. He was also transported to the hospital. Officers search for suspects on the Indiana University campus. Officials later reporting a round of suspects have been placed in custody. An investigation is ongoing. Federal labor officials say Starbucks has engaged in unfair labor practices in Phoenix by firing their employees. A filing with an Arizona U.S. District Court Friday says the coffee chain retaliated against three employees after it learned they were seeking to unionize at its Phoenix location. Starbucks allegedly discharged one employee, constructively discharged another, and placed a third on an unpaid leave of absence. The National Labor Relations Board Regional Director is requesting an injunction that would make the company rehire the three employees. Starbucks has not commented on the filing. However, earlier this week, it filed two complaints of its own with the National Labor Relations Board, alleging that union organizers in Phoenix and Denver broke federal labor laws. 
The Federal Aviation Administration has apologized for their role in Wednesday's evacuation of the U.S. Capitol building. Friday, the FAA said the agency failed to give advice, advance notice of Capitol Police to, about the parachute demonstration, which prompted an evacuation. The demonstration was part of a pregame show that was blocks from the Capitol. Capitol Police are typically made aware of authorized flights, with Capitol Police calling the lack of coordination extremely unusual. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi criticized the FAA for causing an unnecessary panic. The FAA said Friday it was taking immediate steps to ensure coordination with other agencies for future events. However, the agency did not specify what those steps would be. For many, the pandemic has taken a toll on children. New reports indicate kids regularly experience a mental health disorder during any given year. But experts believe COVID has made this worse. Recently, a program has launched becoming the first of its kind in the country to give parents more access to mental health care for their kids. Alana Quillian has the story. The pandemic has created some tough pills for parents to swallow. The rate of pediatric ER visits for suicide now double pre-COVID levels. And overall mental health ER visits are on the rise for all children, especially 12 to 17 year olds. We need to identify these as early as possible and intervene as early as possible. Brent Christopher with the Children's Health Foundation told me despite everything, there's only one pediatric psychiatrist for every 10,000 kids in Texas. It will take a lot of years to continue to grow that pipeline and population. Children's Health says many of these mental health issues are mild enough to be treated by a pediatrician, but only if they have the proper tools and support which they often don't. That's why Children's Health Foundation put out a plea for help in solving this crisis. In just the past year, they were able to raise $27 million from community donations. And now, Children's is using that money to train pediatricians so they can treat kids with mental health issues directly in the office. Well, the big question is, where can parents turn? Parents don't know necessarily how to find a pediatric psychiatrist or some kind of mental health specialist. Um, but. Oftentimes, parents do have a trusted pediatrician. Pediatricians will get certified to focus on treating depression, anxiety, and substance use. And they'll have access to more resources through Children's, something Christopher says has never quite happened before. That is not the way that we typically approach this issue anywhere around the country. We think this can be a novel initiative right here in North Texas that creates a new model for how to address this incredible incredibly pervasive issue for kids and families. Coming up, we'll take a look internationally at the ongoing war in Ukraine. Plus, a new outbreak of the Ebola virus has started in Africa. What this means for those living there, that's up and more after the break. People said we couldn't run a successful business using progressive values, but that's exactly what we did. That's how we built the Bucks Arena. We made sure our minority and women-owned businesses were able to grow with it. Paying good wages, using materials made in Wisconsin, all done in an environmentally sustainable way. That's the type of thinking we need in the U.S. Senate. We're not going to just talk about issues. I'm going to go to Washington and deliver. I'm Alex Lazary, and I approve this message. Some numbers are thrilling. Some impressive. Some just right. After an accident, there's one critical number. The number that helps you get your life back by factoring in your needs for today and tomorrow. That's where Habish Habish and Rotier's numbers really add up. With over 90 years of client successes and 13 offices to help you wherever you are. No other personal injury law firm is better suited to get the amount that's right for you. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of industry-leading Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us, with expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing offers from your local Cub Cadet dealer today. Stop by your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer, Foreman's Farm Home, today. Welcome back, Bill. I'm here for some new tires. Well, you're in luck. It's our tire savings event, so now's the perfect time. Tires a little worn down. Ah. Why would I do that again? Worn down, exactly. Worn down. Exactly. <clears throat> right now, during our tire savings event, buy three tires and get the fourth for only a dollar. Toyota Service Centers. Keep your Toyota a Toyota. 
Welcome back. A new video shows the condition of people living inside a steel facility in Mariupol, Ukraine. There are Ukrainian troops and civilians, including children, taking shelter underneath the ground. Soldiers have been bringing food and candies to the kids, which is a small relief. The children are in remarkably good condition, considering how long some of them have been sheltering underground, ranging somewhere between 40 and 50 days in many cases. However, there is no prospect at this point in time of them actually being able to get out. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky is one of five winners of this year's John F. Kennedy Profile and Courage Award. This year's Group of Five was awarded for their efforts in protecting democracy. According to the John F. Kennedy Foundation, Zelensky was specifically chosen because of how he has marshaled the spirit, patriotism, and sacrifice of the Ukrainian people. Four U.S. officials were also selected, including Congresswoman Liz Cheney of Wyoming. The foundation says the annual award is meant to honor public figures who risk their careers by embracing unpopular positions. And next, sticking with the ongoing war, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has said that he is expecting U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin to visit on Sunday. However, several government sources have declined to comment on the remarks. During a press conference in Kyiv on Saturday, Zelensky said that both officials will be visiting Ukraine. But the White House, National Security Council, State Department, and the Pentagon have declined to comment on the statement made by Zelensky. His comments come after missile strikes killed at least five people and injured more than a dozen in the port city of Odessa on Saturday. Their trip would mark the highest level of U.S. officials to visit the country since the beginning of the war. And health officials in the Democratic Republic of Congo declared a new Ebola outbreak on Friday after a case was confirmed in northwestern province. This is the third outbreak there since 2018 and the 14th Ebola outbreak for the country since 1976, according to the WHO. So far, only one case has been confirmed. The patient was a 31-year-old man who sought treatment at a local health facility after being sick for more than a week at home. He later died. According to the WHO, Ebola is a severe, often fatal illness affecting humans and other primates. Case, case fatality rates have varied between 25% to 90% in past outbreaks, but effective treatment is available. After this, we'll be right back. I know that I can handle schooling my children because the RVA provides the tools that I need. The RVA has adjusted curriculum by placing children right where their learning is. That's the number one goal, is to make sure that your children are learning. And so you don't move on if, they're, if they haven't grasped the concept. You stop, pause, and you make sure that you grasp that before you move on. The RVA will work with your child's needs and will provide the support and the attention that your child not only needs but deserves. This is the purpose-built Ford F-150. It's a beast with brains. It's got, you know what? Skip this video. Go see one at your local Ford dealer. Get here to know F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for yourself. Then get one your way with a custom order that receives priority, plus an extra 1,000 bonus cash and incentive protection, guaranteeing you the best offer now or at delivery, all on a Ford, built for you, by you. Order your 2022 F-150 to lock in a great offer. Plus, get an extra 1,000 retail order bonus cash. Why should you choose ABT Foundation Solutions to resolve your basement water issues or basement foundation problems? At ABT, our core value since day one has remained the same. Be honest and upfront. Use the very best products, provide the best solution, and get the job done right. All at a fair price. So if you think your basement is having foundation issues, we would be honored to come out and conduct a free 20-point inspection. Just give us a call. Visit callabt.com. Farmers are bullheaded and stubborn. They'll keep on going as long as they can. I don't want to continue doing it in the pain that I had because I knew if I'd done that, it was just going to get worse. And they took x-rays and then they found out that there was inflammation in the hips. And by the laser treatments, it seemed to go away. Just because chronic pain is common doesn't mean you have to live with it. Call us at 844-200-PAIN or visit us at painsolver.com to schedule your no-cost consultation today. Now here's a fun video that was sent in over the weekend. Some person sent this in, a viewer, who <laughs> caught a bear apparently that is hungry for bird seeds. The viewer sent this in with showing a bear climbing up a tree and then dangling from a line set up to hold the bird feeders. So I think that's kind of pretty crazy, but it's an indication that, you know, spring is here and the bears are out and about trying to get all the food that they can 
you know, in that video, you can actually see the uh, the bird feeder was pretty much empty. So what was the point of the bear even trying to get up there? Anyway, we'll be right back with a final look at weather after this. Think premium can't be capable? Think again. Introducing the first ever AT4 lineup. Premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on these GMC models. Visit your North Central Wisconsin GMC dealer. Olson Solar Energy would like to thank everyone who has trusted us with their local solar installations. And to those of you still considering solar, give us a call to set up a free evaluation and get your project booked in 2022. Discover the benefits of a lower or no energy bill and take advantage of federal tax credits. The time is now. Go green, save green with Olson Solar Energy. Find your next car at Brunson Sons Auto in Clover. With over 100 vehicles in stock, Brunson Sons Auto has the biggest selection of used vehicles in Portage County. With a super friendly staff, most deals are done within an hour. Winter is here, so get your car ready for the cold at Brunson Sons Auto, featuring a full service department with techs on hand to get you on the move. Visit Brunson Sons Auto today. We would love to earn your business. Need a new boat or outboard? Then it's time to trade and upgrade with American Marine at Motorsports and Suzuki Outboards because we need your old boat. We need to buy fishing boats, pontoons, and speed boats. So trade in your old one and upgrade into a new boat today. Come check out more boats and pontoons in stock than anywhere else in Wisconsin. Or we can help get you top dollar by selling your old boat on consignment. It's time to trade and upgrade with Suzuki Outboards and American Marine and Motorsports Shano. Roofing season is here, and Bear Renovations is the Northwood's number one choice in roofing and rain gutter systems. Whether it's shingle roofing or metal roofing, big or small, the Bear does it all. Stop by our showroom just north of Tomahawk on County Road A, or call 715-966-6649 today. Remember, you can like us on Facebook, but you'll love us on your roof. Bear Renovations is locally owned and operated. Call the Bear. Show your mom how much you appreciate her this Mother's Day with a Mommy Chic Birthstone Necklace from Bassett Jewelers in downtown Manaqua. All right, Kyle, the raindrops are still falling out there tonight. Now, nothing really heavy, but they'll be persistent for several hours into tomorrow morning. And then a cold front comes through and our lives really change tomorrow. So out there now, check out the temperatures, 58 in Rhinelander, still 71 in Wapaka. Uh, we'll hit high temperatures just after midnight tonight in the low 60s because the front is still off to the west of us. It will stay there till probably about two or three o'clock in the morning. But here are the rain showers. Again, nothing severe or strong in here, but some areas of locally heavy rainfall included in there as parts of Oneida County into Vilas County tonight. All right, so seven day then shows tomorrow rain off and on throughout the day, high of 62, but falling into the 40s tomorrow evening. And we hang out there Monday with highs only in the 30s on Tuesday. So a healthy dose of, hey, we live in northern Wisconsin. Yep. Well, that does it for us. Saturday Night Live, a repeat is on next. Have a great night. Oh, it's a repeat.